This is Danielle Reed, Associate Director of the Manel Chemical Census Center in Philadelphia. They do a lot of research on people's taste profiles. So we wondered, in addition to helping us enjoy food, has she found that our taste buds have any medical uses? Well, we think there could be, could be tons. The way it works is that your receptors are on your tongue and they're responding to whatever you throw in your mouth, right? But it turns out that those receptors may have been repurposed to do that, but their original purpose was in other parts of the body. For instance, bacteria secrete compounds and these compounds have a bitter taste. So we think that there's a lot of different purposes to these taste receptors outside of the, the taste cavity. So the reason we're talking a lot about your profile for sweet and bitter is, is that we, we know those receptors, we can sequence them. That part is really well understood, but there's still some of the mysteries is how we actually sense things like fat and fatty receptors, and even the whole salt mystery in humans is not solved yet. So once we solve the biology of that, then we'll be able to ask whether people are different and how that might lead to taste perceptual differences. You go to the doctor and you know you have some symptoms and the doctor wants to prescribe a medicine for you. Imagine you do a simple taste test and the medicine doesn't taste bitter to you. Well, maybe if that predicts you're not going to respond to it as well, maybe you'll go on to a different medicine. So, you know, I can envision a time where we could know something in advance before you have to go through a two-week or four-week treatment period to find out it doesn't really work that well for you. If you'd like to see another video on Future of Food, click here now. And in the near future, lab-grown meat is going to be cheaper, faster, and more environmentally friendly to produce for our growing population. But how exactly does one grow meat in a lab?